guys, welcome back to Tasmania TV. In today's video I have a makeup tutorial for you and it is my current everyday look, which is this one. And uh, I'm just keeping things into the more natural of tones right now to match my hair as it's growing out. So um, yeah, this is what we're going for and here is my process. So all I've done right now is moisturize my face, which is why it's all shiny. <laughs> We're gonna start by covering up this little guy right here. So I'm just gonna use one of these green corrector creams. All right, I'm gonna go in with my usual foundation, which is by Airbase, silicone based airbrush foundation. But this formula allows you to not need an airbrush to apply it. And I use my fingers. All right, I am using a micro shadow in the color design by Makeup Store. I don't do a whole lot of shading anymore. Kind of decided that I'd like to keep it a little bit more natural looking. So I basically just do the cheekbones. And then it's blusher time. This one is by Revolution and it's called Blusher Reloaded. Pink Lady. With that blusher I'm also going to take one of these smaller face brushes and do that little sort of thing on the nose that everyone's doing that I have started doing too because I think it looks adorable or it looks like you have the sniffles if you overdo it. And then I'm taking a white jumbo liner I'm just doing a tiny little line down the center of the nose just a little bit and then I'm using that for the waterline and the inner corner. And then it is highlighter time. This one has been around for a while. It is the Vivid Baked Highlighter in Pink Lights by Revolution. My favorite. And then for the nose, I just like dab a finger in there. And then do the same for the inner corner. Put a little bit on my cupid bow. Next up, I am getting this awesome Esquito waterproof, rub proof, everything proof liner, and I am tight lining my eyes with that. This frames your eyes like compared to two. Mm hmm. And then the eyeshadow I'm using is actually the same eyeshadow that I used to contour. This is a little fluffy brush that I'm using and I'm not putting any kind of primer on today. Because I don't need it with this. It's pretty potent on its own as you can tell. I like a generous amount. When you start with underneath, you always look a little crazy at first, but that's just how I do it. And then just flabbing that all over the lid as well. Don't worry about blending at this point. All right, and then I'm gonna get a fluffy little blending brush and just go over those edges. After that it is eyeliner time and this is my all-time favorite eyeliner. I'm gonna try to do like a chunky short wing liner today instead of those extremely long that I do sometimes.
because I have hooded eyes, I always risk having my eyeliner kind of come, come off because of the skin that ends up laying on top of it. So I always go in with some black. I'm just using black from a Revolution palette here. And I always go over just the edge right here in the outer corner with black. That will stop it from crumbling. And then I'll just kind of blend that into whatever eyeshadow I have underneath. Doesn't do very much for the appearance, but it does a lot for keeping it in place when you have hooded eyes. Just a simple little trick. Mascara time. Next up, I'm going to use two brown pencil liners or brown liners, and I'm going to use these two for two different things. I'm going to create some freckles, and I'm going to do semi-natural looking eyebrows. And I'm going to do the freckles first, because for the freckles, you don't want your pens to be sharpened. But for the eyebrows, you really do want them to be sharpened. So freckles first, because they are dull from being used the other day. So what I'm going to do is sort of hold them like that, and then just go. actually do have natural freckles. They occur during summer, but it's fun to enhance them a little bit by well creating fake ones. For the brows, I'm also going to use a third little brow pen other than these two, and that is a silvery gray one. My hair is brown, but it's not all warm brown tones, so I mix that silvery in with the brown to make it match better with my natural hair. Okay, so I'm gonna start by sharpening all of these. I'm gonna go in with the gray first. I'm doing like individual little hairs or flicks which will help with that almost natural looking brow. During fall, I do like my eyebrows to be a little bit thicker. Okay, so we have the base shape for the first side. Let's repeat that on the other side. You need to you can sharpen your pen again after the first brow all right we have the first layer <laughs> i'm coming in with one of the brown pens now just warming it up a little bit so that it's not all that cold gray You can see the difference, right, in color. Eyebrows are in place, only the lips remain now. And I'm gonna use my favorite nude liquid lippy, which is this one by Wet n Wild. All right, there we go. Finished a look. Nice and simple. This is sort of my everyday look for fall while I'm growing this shit out. <laughs> so that's why I'm turning to the more like earthy natural tones to match this shit. <laughs> 
yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions about the products that I used or any of the techniques or anything like that, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, do no harm, but take no shots. I'll see you next time.